guys it's Kylie and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show y'all how to do this candy cane border this is a border that you can do on any type of crocheted blanket um, I'm going to show y'all how to do this this is my Christmas tree uh, blanket that is a free pattern that is available on my blog which I will link below um, but this is a really fun border that you can use for any time it doesn't have to be Christmas colors um, it works really well with Christmas colors for red and green, but you could also do different colors for any time of the year for any blanket. It's really not as hard as it looks. It's really simple and easy to do. And before we go much farther, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you never miss any new tutorials or crochet patterns that I will be doing. And we'll jump right onto this and I'll show you how to crochet the candy cane border. So I've made a swatch here. Um, in corner to corner stitch that I'm going to show y'all since my blanket was corner to corner I will thought I would show y'all with a corner to corner swatch piece here So what I'm going to do is after you finish your blanket is you're going to want a clean edge to work your candy cane border in So what I'm going to do is I am going to chain one and I am evenly going to single crochet around this whole entire piece and I'll place two single crochet in the corners but I'm going to just give myself a clean edge to work that border in so you just want to make sure you place them very evenly. You don't want them too close or too far apart. So you can just kind of do a few and um, see how it looks. It's like there and just see how that looks good. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet around this whole edge. And I'm going to place two in each corner. And I'll meet back up with y'all after I get around to the beginning where I started. Okay, so I've made it all the way to the beginning and when you get back to where you started, you're simply just going to slip stitch in that very first single crochet and you could go ahead and cut this yarn and then you're going to get your two colors that you're going to use for your uh, border. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to start with, I'll still be using red and green. I'm going to start with the red and I've zoomed in so you can see. So you can start this border anywhere around the edge. So I'm just going to pick a spot here in the middle. And I am going to, I've got my, I made a slip knot of the red and placed it on my hook. And I am just going to attach this red yarn. So after I've attached my red yarn, I'm simply going to chain four. And I'm going to drop, I'm going to pull that loop up just a little bit. And I'm going to drop my red yarn. I am then going to grab my green yarn. And I've already actually made a slip knot. And I'm going to attach it in the stitch right next to the red on the left. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to attach it. And we're going to chain four. Three, four. And I'm going to pull that loop up a little bit. And I'm going to drop it too. So now you can see. I'm going to try to clean all these away so you can see. Okay. So now you can see we have two chain fours in each color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the red one back on my hook. I'm going to go in front of the green and in the next single crochet to the green one, we're going to single crochet and we're going to chain four. And then we're going to drop that. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to insert my hook into the green. And we're going to go, like we've done the red, we're going to go in front. And the single crochet next, we're going to place the single crochet in the stitch next to the red. You can see how it's starting to look like the candy cane border. And then you're going to chain four. And we're simply going to keep repeating that process. I'm going to pull the loop a little bit and I'm going to insert my hook in the red and then we're going to go in front of the green the stitch next to the green we're going to place a single crochet and chain four and then we'll pull that out I'll go back to my green 
it back on my hook, push the red one to the back, go in front, the stitch next, we're going to single crochet, and we're going to chain four. And you will just keep doing that, alternating that all the way around your entire blanket. And you can see how it's starting to look like the candy cane border. So we'll just, I'll keep going. It is a little bit more of a time consuming stitch to me, but it is totally worth it because it is so pretty. Okay, and then so we'll go here to the next one. Like so, single crochet, chain four. And you'll just keep alternating. Go on the green one. And you will have to untangle and uh, twist your yarn, your balls of yarn around quite a few times. I do that every few, like after I do a couple more times, I'll untwist my yarn because uh, they'll get all tangled up. So you, this is a border that you just have to be really patient with and take your time with. So you can see how it's starting to look like a candy cane border. I will go ahead and keep just alternating like I've been doing. Um, I'll get all the way around back here and when I meet you back up here, I'll show y'all how to finish your uh, piece. Okay, so I've made it all the way around back to the beginning of my work and I'm going to show y'all how to end this, how you connect it here. So I want to end in pattern because we're going green, red, green, red. I don't want to break that. And you can see that I have one stitch here left and I'm not going to work that stitch because if I work that stitch, um, it means I'll have two red next to each other and I don't want that. So depending on how many stitches you have around your border, um, you may can end on a green one and not have an extra stitch or you may have to skip a stitch and I'm just going to skip this stitch and y'all won't be you will not be able to tell and I'll show y'all you won't be able to see it once we're done so what we're going to do is we're going to continue on kind of like normal and I'm going to put my red yarn here on my hook and we're going to connect the red one to the starting chain of the red and the green one will connect to the starting chain of the green so I'm just going to skip this stitch, like I said, because I don't want two red next to each other. And I'm going to go in here at the bottom of where this red one starts. And I'm going to slip stitch into this bottom red. Pull up my yarn. You could go ahead and cut it if you want. And then I'm going to grab my green and put it on. And I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to go into the bottom of this green. And I'm going to slip stitch in the bottom there of that green. And I'll show y'all here. And you go ahead and cut your yarn if you want to and weave in the ends. And see like right there, you can't see. One, you can't see that I skipped a stitch. And two, you can't see where you joined. So after you weave those ends in, you're not going to be able to tell where you joined. And you can't even tell I skipped a stitch. So that is how easy it is to do the candy cane border. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and happy crocheting guys.